You will never see the greatness of the majesty of God. You'll never see the fullness of the triumph of Christ. You'll never know what the glory of the Christian life is all about if you have simply reduced evil to commandment breaking and good to commandment keeping. You didn't even... It's not the essence. It's all result. It's all overflow. It's all fruit from this foul fountain of preferring anything to God. Let's think of it this way. I want, to, I want you to get this. Obedience to God's commandments, delight in God's character. You got those two? Obedience to God's commandments and delight in God, God's character. Which of these is more essential? Which of these is at the root of the other? God turned the delight in his character into a commandment. Psalm 37, 4. Delight yourself in the Lord. So now you got a commandment to feel this. God doesn't take neutral things or bad things and make them good by turning them into commandments. <laughs> by his very nature and his supreme beauty and his supreme worth, it is right to delight in him above all things, and that's why it is a commandment. You know, God doesn't take random neutral or bad things and say, well, I think I'll make this one good and then just create a commandment for it, and we're all into this external stuff of God to keep the commandments, so that must be good. You don't even know what good is, if that's the way you think about morality. Same thing with evil. Disobeying God and preferring other things to God, which is more basic, which is more ultimate. Well, God took preferring, preferring other things to him, and he made it a commandment. You shall not have any other gods before me. You must treasure me above everybody. Love me above everybody. Jesus said the same thing. He who loves mother or father more than me is not worthy of me. He who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. It's a command. You must delight in God. You must delight in Jesus. Enjoy Jesus. Be satisfied in Jesus more than you delight in anything. That's a command. Now, I ask you, did God turn the evil of preferring other things to himself. Did he, t did he turn that evil into evil by making it a commandment? No, it was evil. Before there was any commandment anywhere in the universe of any kind, it was evil to prefer anything to God. It just happens now to be in the Bible for our help that it's forbidden. But if you don't if you don't get behind commandments to reality, so no, disobedience or law breaking is not the ultimate essence of evil. Paul put it like this Romans chapter 3, verse 20. Through the law comes the knowledge of sin. So, the law doesn't make sin, sin. It's there, in you, in me, and it's in our, our desires. I want other things more than God. I enjoy other people more than God. That's the ultimate essence of evil. It gives rise to everything. Everything. 